wanted to make a short video about the console I made for Voice Meter Banana. I wanted something that I'd use during uh, gaming and video conferences for meetings and stuff when I'm uh, using Teams or Discord. Teams and Discord I have on a channel for voice dedicated. Um, game, of course, is any game audio would come through that channel. Browser audio is on any browser I'm using on my computer. Desktop is separate from browser, so that uh, I have audio for uh, Spotify, desktop with notifications. That's channels, the microphone channel, this is my out. Slider is my volume out. Top, uh, top rotary encoder is, uh, sorry, just rotary potentiometer is a, uh, is, the, is mapped to the noise gate. The lower one's mapped to compression, or compression, yeah. And this is a mute button. So I can hard mute myself easily. Oh, hard mute. Don't want to fuck up the camera again. There it is. Uh, so basically, if, uh, so I think I have, yeah, Seinfeld playing on the, no, music that's on the desktop. So I just unmuted and muted the desktop using this. You can change the volume of the slider nice and uh, responsive. Then I just added in the browser, which is playing Seinfeld on YouTube. So those are the basics of it. You can, uh, you know, put those together like you would just if you're listening to music in the background while playing a game. And then you mix in the voice the same way. They're all controlled the same way. So uh, I'm going to mute those and do a smart, short little just explanation of the other side of this is the game and voice, which is usually in my headset, which is why it's on A2 and A3. The A2 is a wired headset. A3 is a wireless headset. So when I can control whether or not it maps to there by pushing the button and disabling it and enabling it. So uh, if I'm ever... You're going to go to the kitchen or something, I can quickly hit A1, which then puts the voice out my speakers. So I can hear that without my headset on or, you know, if I if I'm wired for something, you know, I don't know. But it's just dynamic and it lets me do that. So I have these other channels on the right. These are the output channels. These are the bus channels, A1, A2, 3, uh, left to right. These are hard mutes for each of the channels. And then, of course, the volume level. I didn't have much room. I mean, I had this extra space up here at the top. I didn't know what else to do in it when I was doing designing this console table or top. I didn't want just a blank area. I have a lot of other ideas, like an OLED display or something. But for now, I just put another spot for four more keys. Right now, I'm using them for the tape. I can record, start recording, immediately stop, and then play back with just those three buttons. The other button I use is that upper right button. That's the end thing. It's a reset because when I connect a Bluetooth headset, it doesn't recognize until you do the restart application uh, audio, restart audio in the application. So that is essentially the, using a macro snap to that button. So when I connect my Bluetooth, I hit that button, audio blips for a second, but then my Bluetooth's online. So that's everything. This uh, console was homemade. I made it from the ground up with some, of course, Googling, um, very little coding, very small program. I have it on GitHub. I also have the STL of the enclosure I made for it here. Um, it's just a panel, like the, the, the gray, light gray is just a flat panel. Um, there's some actually some, uh, reinforce, some columns in there to help keep it stiff if there was any pressure or down. Um, yeah, that's, that's, and there's standoffs, yeah. So that keeps it at an angle, some standoffs. Um, then I just took some 3M tape uh, and sort of used my finger oils to wear down the adhesive so it's not sticky, but it still grips to make a you know makeshift grip and it stays in place, does not move. And this is actually just a little touch screen that I